like over the past few weeks we've been talking about um types of abuse and how to deal with them so we're talking about sexual abuse and then we moved about to verbal abuse so today we'll be talking about emotional or psychological abuse it's interesting to know that emotional abuse is also known as um chronic verbal abuse that's interesting right yeah so what is emotional abuse emotional abuse is a constant brainwashing that slowly takes away the victim's sense of self-worth security and trust in themselves it is aimed at diminishing the victim's um self-confidence and their um, independence you know their level of independence in themselves and um the abuser uses this strategy to gain manipulate and maintain power over the victim you know that's that's weird so they actually know what they are doing it's not as if they don't know so what are the types of emotional abuse you have verbal abuse through violence when you're constantly yelling at someone you're insulting using swear words as a person that is one type of um emotional abuse and then you have rejection when you just ignore someone you know you just for no reason you don't talk to the person you act you pretend or behave as if the victim is not in that discussion you may be talking and then when the person passes by you don't greet or they greet you just ignore them you just make them feel as if they are not present or they are not worth your time and attention you don't acknowledge their contribution to a subject you just make them feel like oh you are not um you're not supposed to be talking about this or you're not supposed to be here and then you have um public disgrace and embarrassment you just choose to disgrace the person by what did you just say who called you into this discussion why would you say that oh your mouth is smelling oh your dress you should have worn something better you know when you just do all those things to make the victim feel less of themselves and then causing fear when the abuser makes the um victim to constantly live in fear they don't go out you know when they are around you they are just so afraid of you or they are afraid of the next thing you're going to say or your next behavior they are constantly afraid threatened and um, intimidated by you so they they don't feel good about themselves or what they have to offer because of your presence or because of you and they have isolation when you restrict their freedom of movement their interactions with other people you tell them oh this person don't talk to this set of people again you know they, they've been rolling with some kinds of friends and because you are not in the picture you stop them from talking or from relating with people so they are suddenly withdrawn they don't they don't um they don't um go out to do what it right is that they we are used to doing you know they are limited and all of that and then you have constant punishment for their mistake you know i suffered this it's amazing that you know i i, I was once in a relationship that i offended my boyfriend and then he didn't, you know it was just me saying something that oh can we do this this way i don't like the way we were doing it before and then he said to me okay no problem and then you know over the past over the next few weeks i i realized that when i talked to him he just tells me okay or nothing you know i would use 10 minutes to talk and he just replies it's okay good it's fine and you know after a few weeks, now says to me, do you know why I was behaving that way? It's because I didn't like what you said to me the other day. I didn't like the decision you made. So I just felt like punishing you so that, you know, just a way of getting back. And I felt, really? Why would you go to that extent of ignoring me or, you know, just to punish me for an offense I didn't even know I committed? So um, when uh, a partner decides to punish um another person because of what they have done that is emotional abuse and most times you don't even tell them hey babe or hey guy this is what you did or you just give them the silent treatment or you just behave to them in a manner that is not supposed to be and then you have financial control where um, the abuser stops restricts the victim from spending his or her own money so they make money and you try to control and tell them what and what not to do with their money hey you go to work more 
morning to night, Monday to Friday or to Saturday, and then someone else just comes to tell you, oh no, you don't buy this, you don't do this with your money. It's not as if they are helping you to save or manage your money. They just want to be in control of whatever it is you're doing and um, your money. And then you have bullying when you just constantly hurt people and you know you're hurting them or you're constantly being hurt and your abuser knows that this thing I'm saying is hurtful. This big thing I am doing, this physical exercise I'm doing is hurting the next person but they care less because they are enjoying it and they know that they are inflicting pain and they are glad or happy with the kind of pain they are inflicting. Those are the types of emotional abuse. And what is what um what is not emotional abuse? Emotional abuse is not you breaking up with your um with your partner and you know that this relationship is not going anywhere and you decide to say, Oh, let's call it quits. That is not emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is not you it's not you addressing a situation like something happens and you're trying to address it at that particular point. That is not emotional abuse. Um my, my emotional abuse but emotional abuse is when you know you're hurting someone and when you are done you now come back to say oh i'm sorry there is no need for sorry when you have avoided the mistake you made at that particular time so how would you know that you are being abused emotionally what are the symptoms what are the things to look out for in victim or how will you even as a person that hey i'm going through uh, some form of emotional abuse in my relationship with my spouse, my boyfriend, my friends, my parents, my teachers or lecturers or people who are around me. How would you know that you're being abused emotionally? One, the guilt feeling. You just keep feeling guilty. You know, um, I didn't know I was abused emotionally until a few months ago. You know, I went to see a client and um, I saw, I met her staff, and then I just asked, oh, can I do this? And she just said, oh, call my boss, I don't know. So I called the boss, and the boss said, why are you talking to me? My staff is supposed to be giving me this information, not you. And I just said, oh, I'm sorry, ma, I didn't know I should have. But I knew that I was not at fault. But because I was used to taking fault and taking all the blames, I just said, sorry, and that is a sign of emotional abuse. And then you have withdrawal you know someone who used to be outgoing who used to be fun fun to be around who likes to party enjoy the good things of life just suddenly doesn't want to go out anymore just want to be to be in the confined of his or her room does not want to see anybody that is a sign so people don't just change overnight they don't just become um introverts and extrovert does not just wake up to become an introvert you know because when you check it, you will notice that something actually happened. Something had led to the person um, choosing to that way of life. And then the third thing is constantly seeking for permission. So you want to wear this dress and you want someone else to affirm you to tell you, oh, this dress is actually fine. Or you, um, you want to make certain decisions for your personal life and you want to keep getting affirmation and permission from other people because you are used to not trusting your own judgment you are used to being told what to do you don't know how to stand for yourself that is a great sign that someone has been abused emotionally or is still being abused emotionally low um not close to the next one to the previous one no um no self no sense of judgment you just feel i don't know you can't make a judgment you can't pass an information you just want to say oh let's ask the next person or you say and they say oh what does this person has to say about it and you know i i experienced this too because i remember working with someone and the person will ask me oh dorothy so what do you feel about this and i'll pour all my heart and the person says okay let me ask this next person and in my head i'm like so if you know you cannot trust my own judgment why would you ask me and unconsciously i stopped talking because i just felt oh, my opinion does not matter so why say it anyway that is a sign of um emotional abuse you know let low self-worth you feel less of yourself 
I, I at a point I was giving up my valuables because I felt these people deserve it more than me. I don't deserve it. So let me just give it to people who are worth it. That is a sign of emotional abuse. And you have the feeling of not good enough. You just feel I'm not good enough. I'm not worth this. I am not I, I shouldn't be getting this. It's meant for people who are higher or who are greater than me. It's not meant for people of my class. You know, this is not I don't I'm not supposed to be here. That you know all, all those kinds of feelings those are heavy signs of emotional abuse to you give up you give up your own life and happiness to please others you just feel if this person is fine at some point i used to tell people that i didn't know what personal happiness was as long as the next person is fine so if you're asking for my eyes and i know that it's going to make you fine oh well i'll give it to you once you're happy i'm happy but that is in as much as is a sign of selfless living is also a huge sign of emotional abuse because your self worth your self confidence and everything that makes you you has been taken away from you and then you have um when you constantly feel overwhelmed and helpless you know that you are constantly in that I don't know what to do state i am too helpless i can't help myself i need the next person to help me that is a sign of emotional abuse and when you feel choked like people just want to be in control of your life you can't make a decision on your own you can't do what you like you can't do what you love you're just at the mercy of others you're just choked you know you, you you just feel like i can't breathe these people are just into my life if you feel any of this just know that there are signs of emotional abuse so today i want to ask have you been abused or are you currently being abused or are you the one who is abusing another person think about this and join me next month next week as we talk about steps on how to deal with emotional abuse i trust god and i believe that whatever it is you're going through right now that you're coming out stronger and as a fine gold my name is dorothy and i care about you